So I had a question from someone that was on metformin because they were diabetic and they wanted to know, is that going to bump me out of ketosis? Is it going to prevent me getting into ketosis? Well, metformin is used for type 2 diabetes. It's also used for polycystic ovarian syndrome. Um, and it doesn't increase insulin like other diabetic medications do. It basically focuses on the insulin receptor. Okay, So it targets insulin resistance. It allows the insulin to be more efficient and to work better in the body. Okay, So that sounds good. It sounds like a great strategy. Uh, doctors say it's safe, you know, it's uh, out of all the medications, it's at least damaging. Then why do they put a black box warning on this medication? Okay, I mean, in order to put a black box warning, there has to be some serious side effects. There is small but fatal lactic acidosis risk. Okay, so there's a small risk that you may develop lactic acidosis and there's a complication that you may die but it's a small risk. So they have to put this black uh, box warning. So what is lactic acidosis? Well, it's a condition where you become hypoxic. You, you decrease your oxygen absorption to the cells. Your pH becomes more acidic in the blood. You get tired. Electrical problems with the heart, like in electrolytes. Uh, you can have heart arrhythmias, abdominal pain, and the side effect of death. If you're a diabetic and you're taking metformin, or you know someone that's taking metformin, this is what you need to know right here. Severe lactic acidosis can be reversed by thiamine, that's vitamin B1, within 24 hours. I'll put the data down below, you can check it out. It's a very uh, simple solution to a very major problem, okay, B1. You also need to know this. Metformin inhibits B1 transportation. So basically it blocks B1. The more you take metformin, the more you're depleted with B1, the more you're deficient, the more you're gonna have lactic acidosis. It's kind of crazy. So you need to know that. Like if you're taking metformin, you wanna take it, you better be taking B1. The ideal scene is to just do healthy keto and I'm gonna fasting to the point where you don't need this anymore. Now, the other interesting thing is this. There's certain contraindications for taking metformin in the first place. If you have uh, kidney damage or liver damage or cardiovascular damage, they don't want you to take metformin because it'll increase the risk of getting lactic acidosis. Now, if someone's taking metformin, they're probably a diabetic, right? And if they're diabetic, they probably have some kidney, liver, and heart problems, don't they? So I guess you have to be pretty healthy to take metformin nowadays to prevent this risk. Again, it's very, very simple. Take vitamin B1 uh, and you can actually greatly reduce the risk of lactic acidosis. Thanks for watching. So if you're enjoying this content, go ahead and share it with someone that could really benefit from it.